Sanjay Gandhi National Park is an 87 square kilometers 34 square miles protected area near Mumbai in Maharashtra state in India. It was formerly known as Borivali National Park. It is notable as one of the major national parks existing within a metropolis limit and as one of the most visited parks in the world. The rich flora and fauna of Sanjay Gandhi National Park attracts more than 2 million visitors every year. Tourists also enjoy visiting the 2,400-year-old Kanheri Caves sculpted out of the rocky cliffs which lie within the park. History The Sanjay Gandhi National Park area has a long written history dating back to the 4th century BCE. In ancient India, Sopara and Kalyan were two ports in the vicinity that traded with ancient civilizations such as Greece and Mesopotamia. The 45 kilometers 28 miles land route between these two ports was partially through this forest. The Kanheri Caves in the center of the park were an important Buddhist learning center and pilgrimage site sculpted by Buddhist monks between the 9th and the 1st centuries BCE. They were chiseled out of a massive basaltic rock outcropping. The Bombay Municipal Corporation acquired the catchment areas of the Tulsi and Vihar lakes, and also added the land from the government dairy of Airy under protection. The Krishnagiri National Park was established under the Bombay National Park Act in 1942. At that time, the area of the park was only 20.26 square kilometers (7.82 square miles). The Dairy Development Board began operations near Krishnagiri National Park in 1954, but outside the area of the park. In 1969, 2,076 hectares of land of the Airy Milk Scheme now known as Airy Milk Colony was transferred to the Forest Department. However, this area was not notified as reserved or protected forests. In 1976, an area of 68.27 square kilometers was officially designated as Borivali National Park. The Forest Development Corporation of Maharashtra Limited (FDCM) Nagpur sent an official communication to the regional manager, FDCM Thane, on the 22nd of July 1980, stating that the 2,076.073 hectares of revenue land that was transferred from Airy Milk Scheme was to be included in Borivali National Park. The communication also directed that 575 hectares of the revenue land should be used to build a recreational zone, while the remaining 1,501.073 hectares will would remain a part of the Borivali National Park. On 10 October 1980, another communication from the FDCM, Nagpur to Thane directed the latter to declare the area as either as reserved or protected forests to allow the department to have stricter legal control. However, no such declaration was made. The park was further expanded to a total area of 82.25 square km in 1981. The park was renamed Sanjay Gandhi National Park in 1996, after Sanjay Gandhi, the son of former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. The same year, some forests from the Thane Division were merged into the park, further expanding its total area to 103.84 square km. Geography The park occupies most of the northern suburbs of Mumbai. To the west lie the suburbs of Goragon, Malad, Kandivali, Borivali and Dehasar. To the east lie the suburbs of Bandup and Mulland. To the south lies the Airy Milk Colony and the University Campus of IIT Bombay. The northern reaches of this forest lie in Thane City. The park and these areas surrounding it, except Thane City are all part of Mumbai. The region is hilly with elevations between 30 metres feet and 480 metres feet. The park encompasses two lakes, Vihar Lake and Tulsi Lake, which meet part of the city's water requirements. The park is said to be the lungs of the city as it purifies much of the air pollution of the city. Temperature tends to stay a little cooler than the city because of a large green cover. During winters, dense fog can be seen and night temperatures below 15 degrees Celsius is common. Due to its natural green cover and presence of lake and elevation to some extent, rainfall varies greatly as what the city sees. The most southern part of the city Kalaba, receives an average of 2,200 mm of rainfall annually, the northern part Santa Cruz, receives 2,500 mm and the national park just 12 km away from Santa Cruz receives more than 3,000 mm annually. 
During the rare extreme rainfall event Mumbai has seen on 26 July 2005, Vihar Lake inside the National Park recorded 1,045 mm in under 18 hours. Nearby Santa Cruz area received 944 mm and southern Calaba saw a disappointing 74 mm of rainfall on the same day. Biodiversity <inaudible> 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 The park is a bustling forest, with an estimated 800 types of mauve. This flower is native to the park and the surrounding regions, including Karnala, the Yeor Hills, Tungareshwar and some parts of Goragon's film city. The park is also home to a small population of leopards. <laughs> Wildlife Flora and fauna The park is home to a number of endangered species of flora and fauna. The forest area of the park houses over 1,000 plant species, 251 species of migratory, land and water birds, 50,000 species of insects and 40 species of mammals. In addition, the park also provides shelter to 38 species of reptiles, 9 species of amphibians, 150 species of butterflies and a large variety of fish, flora, kadamba, teak, karanj, shisam, and species of acacia, zizophus, euphorbia, flame of the forest, red silk cotton and a number of other varieties of flowers. Carvi or carvi, a flowering plant that flowers once in seven years, can be found in the park. Fauna, the forest cover in the park helps provide the ideal habitat for many wild animals. Chital or spotted deer, rhesus macaque and bonnet macaque are some of the wild mammals that can easily be spotted roaming inside the park. Other large mammals found in the park are, black-naped or Indian hare, muntjac barking deer, porcupine, Asian palm civet, chevrotain mouse deer, hanuman or grey langur, Indian flying fox, sambar deer and leopard. One can also spot striped hyena or four-horned antelope. Reptiles living here include, crocodiles in the Tulsi Lake, pythons, cobras, monitor lizards, Russell's vipers, bamboo pit viper and Salinese cat snakes. A total 172 species of butterflies have been reported here, of which the spectacular ones are Blue Mormon, the phenomenal artist of camouflage the blue oak leaf, the bright Jezebel and large yellow and white orange tip, tiger butterfly, eggflies and sailors. There are a number of moths too. The largest moth is the size of a sparrow 30 centimeters. Avifauna, some of the birds one may see in the park are, jungle owlets, golden orioles, racket-tailed drongos, minivets, magpies, robins, hornbills, bulbuls, sunbirds, peacock, and woodpeckers. Migratory and local birds such as paradise flycatcher and various species of kingfishers, minas, drongos, swifts, gulls, egrets, and herons have also been spotted. Wild tiger In 2003, pug marks and droppings of a Bengal tiger were found in the park. Although the tiger was never widely seen, it did bring some excitement to city folks as records of tiger being found here are quite old and forgotten now with the last tiger being shot down 80 years earlier in the region. Conservation was also proposed for the interlinking habitat corridors and nearby wilderness areas in the state and upgrade their status as tiger habitat. <laughs> Mass flowering of carvey The carvey shrub, as it is locally called in the Marathi language, sometimes also spelled as carvey in English, only blooms once in eight years in a mass flowering covering the forest floor in a lavender blush. It grows in abundance in the western Ghats Hills near Mumbai including throughout the Sanjay Gandhi National Park as in other parts of its natural range. In Sanjay Gandhi National Park its latest blooming took place in 2008, and it is scheduled to bloom here again in 2016. Termed by nature enthusiasts as nature's miracle, its maximum bloom can be seen on some of the inner paths and trails that lie undisturbed in the park. It survives best on the vast sloping expanses of the hillsides, with the Kanheri Caves area of the park being one of the best places to observe large areas of blooms. In the state of Maharashtra, the mass flowering of Karvi has been observed to occur in Mumbai the same year as in the hill station of Kandala and one year earlier in Bhimashankar and Malshej Ghat, beyond Kalyan. 
Near Mumbai, the Karvi is also found in Karnala, the Yeor Hills, Tungareshwar and some parts of Goragon including Film City. Threats The park has faced a number of similar problems to those faced by national parks elsewhere in the world, involving conflicts between natural and human interests. In the early 2000s a road, as proposed, would have cut through the park. Animal activist Tarun Nair went to court to halt this project. The lack of space in Mumbai has pushed residential colonies right up to the park boundary. This boundary is poorly fenced and has often allowed wild animals into human habitations. Slums have mushroomed around the park as well. Corruption among local politicians and Mumbai's influential builder lobby are commonly seen as responsible for a perceived shrinking of the park. In June 2004, leopards were responsible for the deaths of 20 humans within the span of a week. This was not the first attack. For the past 10 years, there have been attacks attributed to leopards stalking children and adults outside the park fringes. After an outcry was raised and the situation reached alarming proportions, eight leopards were caught and relocated. The leopard threat still continues in and around Thane district today with repeated sightings as well as attacks on pets and humans. On 16 July 2012, a seven-year-old girl was killed in Mulland right outside her home by a leopard. A year later, a 40-year-old woman was attacked and killed by a leopard in Biwandi, Thane City in 2013. Five days later, a 14-year-old shepherd survived a leopard attack in the same region. In 2014, a two-year-old child went missing from Gung village in Wada. August 2015 saw four leopard attacks in Thane City. In one incident, a leopard and her cub dragged a one-year-old Rottweiler off. Topic. Poaching Sanjay Gandhi National Park has played home to many poachers in the recent years. Usually, leopards are attacked. In many cases these animals had been poisoned, and claws or other valuable body parts were cut off and sold. Poaching could soon wipe out Mumbai's leopard population. Topic. Fire. During the summer and any time before the monsoon, fires burn in the park, at least one every two weeks. This has resulted in the loss of rare trees and loss of habitat for wild animals. The locals are often suspected of burning the trees on some of the outskirts of the forest to build their homes there. Tourism Sanjay Gandhi National Park is said to be one of the most visited national parks in Asia. According to estimates, around 2 million visitors visit this park annually. Collection at the gates in November 2004 touched 9.8 million rupees The Krishnagiri Uphaven is an area of approximately 5.5 square kilometers 2.12 square miles reserved as an easily accessible public recreation zone inside the park. The remaining core area has restricted access. Among the several attractions of the Krishnagiri Uphaven is a mini zoo where visitors can view animals up close. There is a crocodile park where one can easily view different sizes of these reptiles all at one place. The lion and tiger safaris educate and guide visitors through the natural habitats of these animals. A narrow gauge train travels around the tourist zone showcasing parts of the rich biodiversity. There are boating facility where visitors can rent a two-person pedal-powered boat for 15 rupees per 15-minute increment. Two watchtowers are available for panoramic views of the park. Many visitors also travel to the Kanheri Caves, especially on an auspicious day in August. Nature trails and treks are also popular. Rock climbing enthusiasts often come to National Park. Many rock faces around the National Park and the Kanheri Caves offer a great opportunity for rock climbers. The National Park is also a paradise for morning walk lovers. Every morning, thousands of people, elderly, youth, children visit the park to get a breath of fresh air. Many practice for annual marathon here. There are so many who practice cricket, badminton and other sports here. The entree fee is 133 rupees per year. Senior citizens get a discount. There are many parks created inside the National Park. 
Those who want to go on long walks prefer the straight routes whereas those who want to enjoy the beauty and fragrance of flowers, see many waterfalls, rest in between, prefer the parks. Many people carry their cameras to take pictures of the rising sun, lotus flowers, occasional deers who can be spotted if you are lucky and finally the mist-covered boating lake which looks heavenly. Topic: <laughs> Vanrani narrow gauge train The park also features a toy train that runs on a narrow gauge railway. The toy train Van Rani, which means Jungle Queen, ran for around 25 years. It was discontinued in 2001 because of the poor condition of the track. The circuitous route covers a 2.5 kilometers, 1.55 miles distance. However, in 2004, fresh bids were announced for the repair of the track, which was estimated to cost around 3 million rupees, equivalent to 7.6 million rupees or $110,000 in 2017. The tracks have been repaired and the train is now operational. The fun train ride of about 15 minutes takes you along the foothills of the Mahatma Gandhi Memorial on 190 meters, 620 feet Pavilion Hill, traverses a couple of bridges and tunnels and passes over the Deer Park you would be able to see deer in their allotted cages. The train passes through the jungle area where we can see hutments where people dwell. Deer are also seen near these hutments walking in the jungle. Topic. Boating Another attraction is a boating service available near the Vanrani start point. Two as well as four cedar pedalos are available for calm evening along with your dear ones in a small lake. There is a bridge on this lake where you can stand and watch the boats in water. The bridge is used as a marker for limiting the boats to one side. <laughs> Tiger and Lion Safari Main attractions of the park are a lion safari and a tiger safari for encouraging eco-tourism. The lion safari is a 20-minute ride through a 12 hectares acres fenced forest area in one of the park's green buses. The park is said to have a total of about 25 lions and lionesses. There are hardly two lions which visitors can safely see up close from inside the caged buses. The remaining 23 have been relocated or placed in fenced areas far away from the roads used by the green buses. During visiting hours, some of the resident lions are let out into the enclosure, and can be viewed from the safety of the bus. There are four tigers that are kept semi-confined in a 20 hectares .42 acres fenced area that is toured by the buses. A 5 meters (16.40 feet) high and 2,200 meters (7,217.85 feet) long protective fencing surrounds the area. This is done so that all visitors can safely view lions and tigers in their natural habitat. Here, the visitors are caged in the bus so the big cats can roam like in the wild. Two other tigers roam in a much larger area. There are many claims that many times these tigers and lions are tranquilized, so that the number of tourists can be increased it is not good for tourister. <laughs> Walking trails There are several public walking trails in the park. The popular Ashok Van Trail winds up through thick forest to a dense cluster of Ashoka trees that are a welcome halfway resting spot. One can return by Gomak Trail to an open place of volcanic rock to return to the Kanheri Caves. A more ambitious route is the Viewpoint Trail to the highest point in Mumbai, for a panoramic view of the city and a view of the three lakes of the city, Tulsi Lake, Vihar Lake and Pawai Lake. New jungle trails at Sanjay Gandhi National Park allow visitors to see the more unexplored parts of the park. They are the 4 km miles Shilonda Trail, the 5 km miles Malad Trail, and the 6 km miles Yior Trail. Trails access cost is ours. 25 per person. Local conservation NGOs such as the Bombay Natural History Society (BNHS) and Worldwide Fund for Nature India (WWF India) bring groups of urban residents from Mumbai and elsewhere, sometimes in collaboration with other organizations, for regular guided nature education walks in the nature trails of Sanjay Gandhi National Park and organize special trips when the rare carvi flowers are in full bloom, which only happens once every eight years.
Topic: <laughs> Jain Temple. Trimurti Temple in the forest. There is a famous Jain temple called Trimurti or Trimurti Digambar Jain Mandir. This temple is widely visited by Digambar sect of Jain community. It has three huge idols of Lord Adinath and his two sons, Lord Bahabali and Lord Bharata. Statue of Rishabhanatha is 31 feet in height and tallest in all three on both sides statue of Bharata and Bahabali are 28 feet tall. There is a 51 feet Kurdi stamp also present here. Many Muni Maharaj Jain saints do stay here to preach the followers before moving ahead to other city or town. This is also a small station on the Vanrani Trail. Kanheri Caves The Kanheri Caves are a protected archaeological site at 19 degrees 12 minutes 30 seconds north 72 degrees 54 minutes 23 seconds east. The caves were sculpted by Buddhist residents starting in the 1st century BCE. The area was actually a settlement and once served as inns for travelers. The word Kanheri comes from the Sanskrit word Krishnagiri which means Black Mountain. Buddhist Vihara Seven Buddhist caves, older than Kanheri caves have also been discovered very recently. Detailed exploration and documentation is awaited from the Archaeological Survey of India. Topic access The park's main entrance is located in Borivali, 0.9 km miles east of Borivali Railway Station, which is approximately 40 km miles north of southern tip of Mumbai city, with suburban trains running every five minutes. From Borivali Station, one can walk or hire an auto rickshaw to reach Sanjay Gandhi National Park. It is well connected with all parts of Mumbai and Maharashtra by road. The Western Express Highway NH8 passes by the park entrance. Buses are available on holidays and Sundays from Mumbai to the park. Also, chartered vehicles can be hired for groups to visit the park. The park can also be accessed from Goragon BNHS, Film City. The park is accessible from eastern side as well, through Mulland Vasant Garden and through Thane from two locations, Yeor and Tikaji Ni Wadi, near the Nature Center. The nearest airport is Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport at Santa Cruz 18 km 11 miles from the park. Nearest railway stations are Borivali and Goragon on Western Line Mumbai Suburban Railway, which are connected to Churchgate Railway Station and also Mulland and Thane on Central Line Mumbai Suburban Railway, which are connected to Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus. Park hours. Main gates open at 7.30 a.m. and close at 5.30 p.m. The park also provides monthly and yearly passes for morning walks. Timing for these types of passes are 5 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. only. You are allowed to take your mode of transport along, till the Kanheri Caves by paying a nominal amount at the main gate. 